Richard, what we're talking about here, the kinds of actions undertaken in, in, in Syria, speak directly to the kind of experience and knowledge that you have. Secretary of State John Kerry, again, making the case for a military strike, but then saying, whatever we do, it's going to be on our timetable. We're going to continue talking to Congress, continue talking to the American people, offering this justification. How does one determine whether this was a successful speech or not? Well, uh, no one will ever accuse the Secretary of State of not being able to give a speech. Uh, and I think it's already clear this is an unsuccessful speech uh, in the sense that he was loquacious, uh, but he said very little that he hadn't already said before. And he did not address the core issues. The core issue is not, as he would make it seem, whether Assad had used the chemical weapons. Um, let's just stipulate that, though his assurances are not convincing to everyone. The core issue is, what is the purpose of U.S. military strikes against the Assad regime, and with what partners do we carry it out, and under what legal justification? And I, I respectfully disagree with my friend Peter that this would have helped David Cameron in the parliamentary debate, because in fact, there's very little that Secretary uh, Kerry said today on the circumstances in Syria on the ground that he did not say uh, in, on Monday. Uh, he gave the world his assurances that Assad had done this, and it was a heinous act, um, and today he repeated those assurances with very little additional information, frankly. Uh, so I, I think this is the administration is, it does, is not sure what to do on, on the Friday before Labor Day, uh, and the, by the weekend they're going to have to find a spokesman, maybe Secretary Kerry again, who can actually answer the real questions that we face uh, uh, in this very difficult strategic situation is we're it, in with Syria right now. Richard, is it possible, though, would it have been possible for the Secretary of State to explain exactly what would be accomplished with a military strike? He did say that ultimately the solution is at the negotiating table, that the U.S. does not want to be dragged into another war. He said the American people are tired of war, and of course they are. Uh, and then he tried to frame it in terms of national security. He said the security of our country, which seems to be, uh, to me anyway, to my uneducated ear, a slight departure perhaps from what he was saying earlier in the week, uh, you know, when he was trying to build an international coalition. I, I, a slight departure is too kind, Eric. I've listened to a lot of foreign policy speeches in my life, uh, and this was incoherent. And it did not lay out clearly what he was trying to say, other than that Assad is, is a brutal dictator who used chemical weapons against his own people. He was not clear about the objectives. He was not clear about the relationship between military action and a diplomatic solution. He was not clear about the issue with the Russians or the Allies or the Arabs or the rebel groups that we are half supporting on the ground in Israel. Uh, this was not a coherent statement of a strategy for the Syrian problem. So is that to suggest, then, that the administration doesn't really know what to do right now? Well, it certainly suggests that they weren't ready to have Secretary Kerry explain it today. Uh, and uh, I think there is significant questions on uh, uh, that the rest of the country has about what is our strategy for this problem. And that there's no uh, – Secretary Kerry just did not answer them today. And now, if behind the scenes they have some other concepts, uh, at some point they're going to need to lay it out. Uh, to someone, but he, he didn't do it today.